When we watched WandaVision, we had suspicions about Agatha and her nosy motives, but we were not expecting the big reveal that surprised us all. One of Agatha's most memorable moments was her catchy show tune, Agatha All Along. And there has been some pretty big news about the popular song. It's been nominated for a Grammy. First, remind me, when did the song appear in WandaVision? So in the seventh episode of the nine episode long season, Agatha reveals herself to be the big bad. She's not a simple simple, snooty, overly curious neighbor of Wanda, but is actually an incredibly powerful sorceress called Agatha Harkness. Now, who on earth is Agatha Harkness? Agatha Harkness is a witch who appears in the Marvel comic universe. She's been around in the extended universe since the 70s and has multiple different roles depending on the media she is appearing in. She's quite old, having been around since before the Salem witch trials in America in the 1600s. That is pretty old, for sure. She's not always portrayed as a villain as such, rather someone who is wise, learned, experienced, and very powerful in the art of magic. She usually takes on protective roles, for example, protecting a young Franklin Richards in the Fantastic Four comics of the 1970s. Her appearance in WandaVision is not the only interaction she has had with Wanda, aka Scarlet Witch. In the comics, she has had some history with her as well. This is not a shock to fans, though, as obviously she is an ancient in which the two sorceresses have much in common. Agatha Harkness's first appearance had her as an actual tutor to Scarlet Witch, teaching her all about the magical powers and how to utilize them to their best effect. This is a stark contrast to the role that we see her in today. Although with the fluidity with which we have seen her character change and develop, we think that there is going to be a lot more of Agatha that we'll be seeing in the future. So what is the big deal about this song? Agatha All Along is is, quite frankly, incredible. It's actually sung by Agatha's actress, Katherine Hahn. Many times in movies and TV shows that feature songs, the actors have voiceover doubles that can sing to match their voice if a song comes up. Sometimes an actor has the perfect voice for a speaking role, but it's not always the strongest singer. However, Katherine performs the song herself and absolutely nails it. If you've not got a chance to watch her performance yourself yet, we heartily recommend you look it up on YouTube to experience it. Agatha All Along was written by Kristen Anderson Lopez and Robert Lopez. These names are familiar, and they should be. This married couple are behind the composition and writing of the music in Frozen and Frozen 2, which are considered to be one of the most popular Disney musical hits of all time. Elsa's signature song, Let It Go, is probably one of the most famous movie songs of the last few generations. It's not a surprise to any of us that a song they wrote for the Marvel franchise is also a massive success. It'll definitely be one coming up for Disney karaoke sessions in the future. So Agatha All Along was nominated for a Grammy. Yes, Agatha All Along was nominated for the category Best Song Written for Visual Media for 2021. This is a huge deal as songs from TV shows barely ever make it into this category. In fact, it's been eight long years since a TV series was even nominated for this award and they win even more rarely than that. The fact that it's been almost a decade since a TV show was even nominated for this award speaks volumes. The song is so tremendously popular it actually won a Grammy back in September, but for outstanding original music and lyrics in the creative arts category. In fact, the show WandaVision has been winning Grammys all over the place. It scooped up Grammy awards for outstanding original music, outstanding fantasy sci-fi costumes, and outstanding production design for a narrative program. The creators are going to need to get themselves an awards cabinet to hold all these Grammys. Up next, Next, will this popularity have any bearing on the future of Agatha Harkness? We can say that most likely, yes, it certainly will do. Agatha Harkness has been an incredibly popular character this time around, and her introduction as a villain has made her still lovable, despite her flaws. Her eccentricities have made her charming, and online fans have made memes and gifs out of her most popular scenes. When characters get this much love in the fandom, especially in Disney franchises, it can be a really good way for them to retain fans love for her series and make some more money out of it at the same time. This has worked enormously well in her favor as she has become so popular and well loved. In fact, that Disney announced something very special indeed. Agatha will be getting her very own spin-off show. The fans are absolutely hyped about it. Next, what can we expect from Agatha's new show? Have any details been released yet? So we don't have any details just yet because they haven't been officially made public, but we do have a few exciting things that we can share 
with you so far. The brand new show is, of course, going to be airing on Disney Plus and is most definitely going to be expanding the Marvel Cinematic Universe in its current generation. This means that the older representations of Agatha Harkness in comics are not going to be canon in terms of the new Marvel Universe that we're currently experiencing. The show is going to be called Agatha, House of Harkness, which, to be honest, just sounds completely badass. Agatha has always been a character who is very classical, refined, and dare we say glamorous, and this new iteration of her is no different. Even the name House of Harkness has a classy ring to it. We can't wait to see if it carries on the vintage vibe of WandaVision, or it goes in a totally new direction. We do know that the brand new show is going to be written by Jack Schaefer, who is famous in the Disney universe for writing for female-centric productions. She was the head writer for WandaVision, and she also had a hand in creating the script for the well-received Black Widow movie. She definitely has a skill that she has refined, and we can't wait to see more of her work in the new series. Up next, when will we be able to watch Agatha House of Harkness? Unfortunately, it won't be for a little while yet. The brand new spin-off show only got a reveal in October, and its official announcement in November of this year, so there has been a lot of time for Disney to give us any details. However, fans are speculating that we might be getting the new show sometime in 2023. If development times are similar to other shows that we have got lately, it might be around halfway through the year. We can be pretty sure that we will not be seeing it next year, 2022, as a calendar for the shows that Disney Plus is lined up is already confirmed and ready to view. The Marvel Cinematic Universe takes its creations very seriously and has even got projects in the works scheduled up till the end of 2023. Because Agatha, House of Harkness, has only just got its announcement. You might be waiting a while for the other shows to get done first. So, do we know what Agatha, House of Harkness is going to be about? Well, we don't have an official trailer or storyline to go off of, but we do have some fan theories thanks to the other appearances that Agatha Harkness has made in the Marvel comic universe. Some people have a theory that the show is going to be a prequel of sorts to show us how Agatha became who she is today. This would be a really good route to go down, as getting to see a Marvel spin on the Salem witch trials would just be awesome. We already know that she was betrayed and her family met a terrible end, so this tragic tale would make a brilliant backstory-driven prequel. Plus, the show is named House of Harkness, which alludes to us seeing some of her family or lineage. The second theory is that the spin-off show is going to take place inside Westview. We all know that Agatha was trapped there with the other townspeople at the end of WandaVision, so instead of the spin-off show being a prequel, it would serve as a direct sequel. This would be particularly interesting as it would show how Agatha comes to realize she's trapped in Wanda's creation, and how she attempts to break free of it. House of Harkness could be referring to where Agatha ends up living in Wanda's psychic prison. What do you guys think about Agatha House of Harkness? Do you think it's going to be a prequel? And do you think that Agatha all along deserves to win that elusive Grammy? Let us know in the comments.